And we're talking about a return to real food without the added thickeners, gums, and preservatives. Brittany Breeding is showing us a healthy take on a favorite dessert. If you love ice cream but don't love all the extra preservatives and sugar, I've got the spot for you. Let's check it out. Milk and Honey with Cindy. Thank you so much for inviting us out here today. Thank you for coming by. So what makes Pure Milk and Honey unique? Well, we sweeten off our ice cream with local honey instead of using any sugar. And we make all of our baked goods and confections in-house, so no preservatives in anything. That is awesome. How'd you get started in this? Well, my initial plan, I really love desserts, so my initial plan really was to open something like a bakery, but um, ice cream kind of just fell upon me. It was just something that was easier to automate, and with bakeries, there's a lot of food waste. If you don't sell something, then you have to throw it all out. You can't really save it. Whereas with ice cream, you can freeze the bags of ice cream mix, and even with, say, our toppings, which are which a lot of them are brownies and fudge, and we can also keep them pretty um, fresh in the freezer, and then we can just thaw it out when we need it. Okay, and I love that you guys use honey as your sweetener, no artificial sweeteners. Why don't you go that route? As a child, I grew up with parents that were always into healthy eating, so my childhood home was virtually free of anything that was junk food. So I was just wondering if it was possible to make a dessert that was more healthy and ice cream was always something that used a lot of refined sugar and I wasn't sure what to use aside from that so I wanted to use a natural sweetener and honey was something that just popped to my mind and honey is available everywhere and there's always um, honey in every different um, city or state so it can keep things a bit local. So I love that this is a sweet treat without all of the guilt. So this is amazing. Do you want to go check out the flavors? Sounds good. Let's do it. So tell me a little bit about the flavors that you guys offer. So our most basic flavor is the honey flavor. It's also our most popular because it's sweetened with honey and it uses our local honey. So we always have that and the chocolate flavor. For this one, we brought out coffee and hojicha. And then for dairy free, we also have a peach rosemary and mango jasmine that's made with coconut cream. That sounds delicious. And you guys do Sundays too. Look at this gorgeous creation. Yeah, so this is our August specialty sundae. It's called a Midsummer Night's Dream. And it is made with our honey and chocolate ice cream swirl, then topped with almond slices, strawberries, and a homemade macaron, which is a vanilla bean macaron with a chocolate ganache and then strawberry jam. And people can kind of build their own creations if they don't want one of the pre-made sundaes, right? Of course, yes. We have a whole bunch of different toppings that can be used, so different fruits, different nuts, our homemade sauces, and then we also have brownies, banana bread, so really whatever creation you would want, and you can choose your own flavor of ice cream for that as well. That is so cool. And some of your toppings have gotten pretty popular, right? They have, yes, especially like our homemade Oreos, and then for some specialty sundaes, we have little cakes on them. So for our January sundae, we have a Russian honey cake on it. Ooh. So it's a little tiny slice of it, but it has been so popular that we actually ended up bringing up like large slices of cake, which we put in our freezer to sell so people can bring it home um, and enjoy with their company or, or by themselves, you know? <laughs> Fair. No shame in eating an entire cake by yourself. No, not, not at all. Here. It's, it's not that big, it's a, little, it's a square, just eight layers of okay. pure joy. <laughs> yeah. And if you want more information about Pure Milk and Honey, just visit our website, cw33.com. Yeah, Brittany says they are also working on expanding their gluten-free products. Right now, they do have one gluten-free baked good option, but they're going to be launching more in the coming months.